Well, according to the CDC, skin cancer is the most common cancer in the U.S. and dermatologists agree that sunscreen, of course, will help your risks of getting skin cancer. But a new report in the Journal of the American Medical Association is raising concerns about some of the ingredients found in sunscreen. Medical reporter Rosemary Belts is here to break down this research. And what is this that I'm hearing that the sunscreen is? Yes. Soaking into our skin, but not in a good way. Exactly. Yeah. And so, and why these chemicals, I'm just going to touch it like skin, really what it is. It's the largest organ of our body. And I think a lot of people don't realize it's actually an organ. It protects all our other organs. And then in the seventies, right, we, uh, um, sunscreen was FDA approved to then protect our skin. But the seventies was like 40 years ago, right? When we were only using sunscreen seasonally, right? Just during the summertime. Fast forward now, you know, to, you know, 2019, we're using sunscreen every single day. Uh, it's stronger now. Mm -hmm. And so since the nineties, doctors were questioning, well, how are these chemicals, um, you know, affecting maybe our reproductive system and so forth. So now it's, you know, this pilot study that I'm going to talk about is now drawing attention to are these sunscreens holding up to the same standards because they haven't been evaluated since the 1970s. Wow. And certainly they put a lot of different ingredients in them since then. Exactly. And this and this uh, study was kind of interesting, I found, because I actually even think about that myself. Um, so the, they did find four, um, four chemicals. I don't want to get caught up in the chemicals because they're very long and chances are people won't remember them anyways. <laughs> um, but they studied, uh, it was a small study, about two dozen people over the source of a week, putting sunscreen on, taking their blood levels and measuring these chemicals. What they found was interesting was that the, the rate and how fast these chemicals were actually penetrating the skin, then getting absorbed to the bloodstream, and then the levels of them, and then reapplying the sunscreen as they're now building up. So now, you know, so they found this in this small amount of research that they did last year. So now this is spearheading all this new research. So is it safer for us still to continue to use sunscreen than to not? use sunscreen. Yes, it is. Because what we do know, according to the Academy of Dermatology, we know that sun exposure causes skin cancer, right? And we know the damages of that. Um, if you want to minimize your risk, right? You, you know, if you're afraid of chemicals, like you were asking, you know, you can stay in the shade, avoid the sun between 10 and two, wear protective eyewear or hats. But, um, you know, they still recommend that you do wear some sort of protection, right? And they don't want to scare people from wearing protection. So there's two kinds of sunscreen, physical and chemical. That, that's the, the way chemists look at it. Chemical are what we're talking about, these chemicals. And then physical, like the zinc oxide, the, um, the, the white stuff that you see the, the lifeguards yeah, wearing. Yeah, you can't white out your whole body. What I you, know. What are you supposed to do? I, well, it doesn't look really attractive, but if you want to avoid some chemicals, they're the uh, chemicals to look at. Are there certain sunscreens you think are better than others when it comes to these chemicals? And by the way, I've looked at your list and I don't even remember ever seeing any of these. Avobenzone, oxybenzone, octocrylene, and ecomucil? Yes, yeah, it's close, correct, uh -huh. I know, uh -huh. is it exactly. So, so should we look for those on our sunscreens? Right, they're the, the chemicals that are in question. So here's the thing. Um, they found levels higher than they would like to see, right? And so now they're going to put these, these sunscreens through a test. Are they, they're going to hold them to the same standards that drugs passing FDA approval are now. And what you had just asked about what's safe, anything that says mineral, like the zinc, um, the, the, excuse me, the zinc and the titanium, they're the ones that will lessen the chemical. But I do want to bring something up because a lot of people out there don't realize when there's chemicals, right, is any drug sitting on the shelf, there's an expiration date. So if you have a sunscreen at home that has an expiration date, follow it. If it's past it, throw it away. When you're buying a sunscreen, you know, you want to look, but they all don't have expiration dates. If you buy one without an expiration date, when you open it, put the date on it, throw that away within a year. Mm -hmm. um, 
but they are good for three years, but if there's no expiration date, you don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf, so throw it away. So mark it with a Sharpie. Yes. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because a lot of times your hand grease wipes off the expiration date anyway. You it know, you does. grease it up and then you right. get it right. All right. Thank you so much. Very sure. good advice. Something to think about. Look for the words mineral on your sunscreen. All right, folks, stay with us. There is more Friends at Five coming up after the break. We're talking about keeping your heart healthy next.